Hi everyone, this is Pat, and the message that I have for you tonight, I have entitled, Saved by Grace. In the Bible verse is Titus chapter 3 verse 5, and it reads, He saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth in renewal by the Holy Spirit. Dear Father God, I do thank you so much for the salvation that you have given to me. I pray, Father, that you will be with my mind and my heart, my mouth as I speak. Help me, Father, to pass on to others what you have given to me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hi. This is Pat, and the message is called Saved by Grace. And the Bible verse again is Titus 3, chapter 5. He saved us. Not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. And that is Titus 3, verse 5. I was thinking today I had a, um appointment at the bank because there was some kind of mix-up or hiccup in an account that I had, and I was trying to straighten it out with them. And um, I could feel myself just losing my peace, as I tell people a lot, not to lose your peace. And um, uh, by the time I got home, it was, whoa, quite, I was quite a mess in a way. And um, I was thinking about myself. <clears throat> and I realized that on any given day, I can lose sight of the truth that I am not my flesh. I'm no longer my flesh. But when I lose sight of that, what happens is that my manner can become rough and unloving. My thoughts can become bitter and fearful. And I can behave like I don't know and love Jesus. And then to make things worse, the devil steps in. And he begins to call me all manner of hateful names, like a hypocrite. And as I listen to his endless streams of criticism, my confidence um, of being a new creation in Christ plummets. And I begin to feel quite yucky. And I would be a dead duck if not for the word of God. You know, my salvation did not come by righteous things I did, but by the grace and mercy of God. My standing in Christ is not dependent on how I feel. I am the Lord's because I believe the inerrant word of God. I have been brought by Jesus' blood. My sins, past, present, and future, have been taken away forever. And I had some scripture that helped me or helps me to remember who I am in Christ and the grace that I have received. I received it. It was a free gift. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, 4, By grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works so that no one may boast. Thank God he has sealed me by the Holy Spirit. I was one time I was dead, but now I'm alive. And I was once an enemy of God. I'm not. And the people who are God's people, I am unified with them. They are like my true brothers and sisters in Christ. And uh, I want to behave like a Christian, um, not in order to chuck up some kind of, you know, points with God. I do it, or I want to do it, because I 
know how much he loves me and what he has done for me. And I am grateful for what he's done, and I want to be his ambassador, an excellent ambassador. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I want to be mature. That's what when the Bible speaks of being perfect. So I know that each day I have to be in the Word so that my mind is transformed. You know, the Word gives me a standard so I don't get it wrong. And so I want to think about God's Word and I want to use it as a radar When I hear things throughout the day, I want to put it under that radar to see, is it in line with what God is teaching me? Because if not, I must reject it. Revelations 12.10 Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens, It has come at last salvation and power in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to earth, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. The devil hates God and says, I belong to the Lord and since I am his true child, he hates me. And he will try to break me down, you know, through the things that he can say to me. But I know that his day is not forever. So I want to hide God's word in my heart so that when that type of attack comes, God's word can come up and bring back to me the truth that I am indeed a new creation in Christ. Praise God, I am a new creation in Christ. This is my prayer. Dear Father, the feelings of guilt and shame can distract me, and I lose sight of the truth. Um, This is the truth. If I confess my sins, God is faithful and just, and he will forgive me my sins and purify me from all unrighteousness. Do you know that came to me? Today I was feeling bad by my behavior um, with um, some people that I even had to deal with on the phone about my account. But God said to me, Pat, please, I died for that. Just know that that was wrong. And so I'm grateful that I know that today. So my prayer continues I pray to stop wallowing in what I did. I pray to run to you for forgiveness. I can never lose your love. Thank you so, 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 so much. In the name of Jesus, I give thanks and I pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful night and a wonderful day in the Lord. Um, Take care and thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.